Good day everyone, I am Efren Fitinori Jr. and this day I will report about the value added reduction. Value added reduction is the is a change in the physical state or form of the product such as milling wheat into flour or making strawberries into jam. The production of a product in a matter that enhances its value such as organically produced products. The physical segregation of an agricultural commodity or product manner that results in the enhancement of the value of that commodity or product such as an identity preserved marketing system. So when we say value added production it is um it is you change the product into something like for example a meat. So you change it into a um like a product that make it more um, encouraging to the customer so that they will buy it and you can gain money with it so the first product is poultry so poultry it is one of the fastest growing segments of the agricultural sector today properties of a poultry are one high in protein two low in fat three excellent source of essential amino acids for also good source of phosphorus iron copper zinc b vitamins 12 and 6 5 dark meat and skin are higher in fat than white so th that is the first product of poultry which is the one of the most fastest growing um segments of the agricultural sector today because um other people buy um, product that came from the poultry okay so the first example of a poultry is the salted chicken eggs a simple technique for preparation of intact salted chicken shell eggs has been developed which obviates the need for using salt prior to serving boiled eggs and hence a convenient product for egg vendors so first example is the salted chicken eggs so eggs has been developed into a new something or new product like it has been salted so um, vendors or egg vendors sell this product to gain money next product is pork pork it is the culinary name for the meat of the domestic pig it is also the most commonly consumed meat worldwide so pork is comes from pig and this um, product is commonly used worldwide okay so the first example of a pork is the fresh sausages a lean ground meat combined with fat or lard or other binding agent and seasoning such as herbs and spices. Fresh sausages can be packaged in bulk, formed into patties or put into a casing and sold as meat. So the first product of the pork is the fresh sausages. The, it, it, uh, it comes from the meat of the pork and has been developed into new um, things or new products so, like the sausages and it packed into a form of patties or in any other casing that make it um, that bind that fat or the meat that comes from the pork okay so the next example is bacon a salt cured meat can from pig's belly or back it is also served on its own incorporated into meals such as eggs and bacon or used as an ingredient in dishes like sandwiches soups salads and even sweets like 
maple bacon ice cream. So, for example, a uh, uh, second um second example of a, the product of a pig is the bacon. So, it comes from the belly or the back of the pig, and this product is incorporated into our meals, such as in our breakfast. We also always eat bacon sometimes and it also used in any dishes as dishes like um, um, sandwiches soups and even sweets that that we always eat and also we always buy that thing like a piece of a bacon that we use it to for um, additional flavor for our for the food we eat. Okay, so the third product is the fish. Fish it is consumed as food all over the world. With other seafoods, it provides the world's prime source of high quality protein. Fourteen to sixteen percent of the animal protein consumed worldwide. So over one billion people rely on fish as their primary source of animal protein. So fish is um the uh one of the food that we consume worldwide and it is also um the people also rely to this food to gain um the source of protein. First example from the fish is a sweet and spicy tidies, a dish that is made out of dried anchovies in a sweet and spicy coating, usually packed in small plastic packets and stapled sealed on thin cardboard. So this ex first example of the from fish is the spicy dillies or the dillies that comes from the family of anchovies. Anchovies, and it it is coated into sweet and spicy and packed in small plastic packets or in thin cardboard. And this product is also uh, or people also buy this product to eat and sellers sell it to gain. Okay, another example of the product that came from the fish is the canned tuna. The canned tuna sold in supermarkets or in food services outlets or in tuna sandwiches is either albacore or a mixture of kitcha and yellow bean tuna. It is a good source of essential nutrients such as omega-3, fatty acids, high quality protein, selenium and vitamin D. So, canned tuna is uh, a product that came from um, skipjack and yellowfin tuna and it developed into a canned tuna so that people will buy it or consumer will buy this product to gain um, nutrients or the essential nutrients like the omega-3 fatty acids, high quality protein, and selenium and vitamin that is good for our body and uh, the nutrients that our body needed to survive. So the fourth animal is duck. It is a meat that comes from a juvenile duck, wrappers duck meat, the meat of several species of bird in the family of Anatidae found in both fresh and salt water. It is also a common livestock bird in many cultures. Duck is eaten in various cuisines around the world. So, duck is the common livestock in many cultures or the common animal that people um, care and took care of it. And also duck is eaten in any cu various cuisines around the world. So first example from that is balot. A hard boiled egg, it sounds innocent enough until you find out the egg fertilized and allowed 
to develop from 16 to 20 days before it's cooked. It's a common street food item here in the Philippines and Filipino love the taste of it. So, um, balut uh, comes from the egg of a duck and this uh, balut is the common street food that Filipino people want to eat and or taste it and this balot is a hard boiled egg that um, is fertilized uh, and developed from 16 to 20 days. Another example from duck is the Peking duck, a famous Chinese dish originating from Beijing prepared since the Ming Dynasty era. It is prized for the thin, crispy skin with authentic versions of the dish serving mostly the skin and little meat. So, the, another example is the Peking duck. This, this duck or the, this product is famous in Beijing and it is cooked um, to it's cooked into thin, crispy skin with authentic various dishes serving and this product sells to any restaurants or high-class restaurants that Chinese or other nationalities people buy it to eat the fifth animal is the cow or the cattle a beef flesh of me mature cattle as distinguished from veal the flesh of calves. The best beef is obtained from early maturing special beef has firm, velvety, fine grain, lean, bright red in color, and well marked bulk. The fat is smooth, creamy, white, and well distributed. In young beef, the bones are soft, furrous, and red. The less desirable mature beef has hard white bones. So, Cow is the um, cow, the product of the cow or the meat of the cow is what we call beef and this meat is commonly uh, used or commonly consumed by the people around the world and they buy this product to use for cooking as well as in roasting and in and this product is can give um, nutrients and proteins to people who buy it so the first example from beef or from cow is the steak a meat generally sliced across the muscle fibers potentially included a bone. It is usually grilled but can be pan-fried. It is often grilled in an attempt to replicate the flavor of steak cooked over the glowing coals of an open fire. It can also be cooked in a sauce such as hamburger. So steak is comes from the beef of a cow and it is cooked or grilled in a, in a pan or it is being pan fried and this um, and this product is commonly used for the hamburgers another example from be, uh, from cow is the hamburger hamburger is a sandwich consisting of one or more cooked patties of ground meat Usually beef placed inside a sliced bread, roll, or bun. The patty may be pan fried, grilled, smoked, or flame broiled. So, in hamburger, the the meat that they use is the beef, and they make it into a patties, and they fried, grilled, smoked, or flame broiled the patties so that it will be used to for um, in the center of a bun so that people will buy the product you sell and 
they will hit it regularly. Okay, so the sixth animal is the carabao. It is considered by many as a health food because it is safe to eat even by people with heart problems and those who are allergic to red meat. It contains less calories, less fat and cholesterol than most meats including poultry and these are good for dieters and athletes. So, car carabao is considered as a health food because it can be eaten by those people who are allergic and heart or have a heart problems and this product contains um, less calories less fat and cholesterol and also this product or this um, the meat of carabao is good for those dieters and also those those who are athletes First example from Carabao is tapa. Filipinos prepare tapa by using thin slices of meat and curing this with salt and spices as a preservation method. Tapa is often cooked or fried or grilled. So tapa is a meat also from uh, a meat from a horse and also from Carabao. Then tapa is often grilled in cook or fried or grilled and the it is grilled by the meat of the carabao is um, cut into thin slices and they cured it with salt and other preservation or spices so that it will be preserved okay, another example from carabao is the carabao chicharan it doesn't curl into crunchy cells. It pops into crisp, airy, practically melt in your mouth balls. Otherwise, tasteless, it's typically seasoned with salt, pepper, and Betsy. So, carbon uh, chicharron. So, there is also, uh, there are any kinds of chicharron, but there is also uh, chicharron that came from the carabao. It is, um, it it creeps airy and practical melt in your mouth balls this product this carbo chicharron is tasteless it because it is typically seasoned with um, uh, salt pepper and that's it. that this is this product is very tasty the last animal is the goat goat Meat is the meat of a domestic goat. Goat meat is an important nutrient source, particularly for people of developing regions which are situated mainly in the tropics. So, goat is a meat from the domestic goat, and this meat is very important because it gives nutrients or it has nutrient source that people of the developing regions mainly the tropics island or the tro tropics region usually eat this um, meat or eat the meat of the papaita na kambing papaita na kambing is one of the most popular dishes in the northern philippines specifically the Ilco ilocos region it is made up of goat inards which include its parts, lungs, and its small and large intestines. Though mainly known as viand because of its brotherly nature can actually be made with less fruit and can be served as a pulutan in a gathering. So, papaita na kambing is one of the most popular dishes in the northern Philippines, specifically in the Ilocos region. So, this um, food is made up of goat inards like the heart, the lungs, the hearts, and the small and large intestines of the goat. And this food is commonly known as the pulutan in 
a gathering and also this they serve it as a pollutant in a gathering so this ends my report thank you for listening god bless